Shoulder injuries are complicated. Many people have a fall onto their shoulder, but others will just not remember a specific event where they develop pain in the shoulder, often waking them up at night when they'd roll over onto one side or the other. An MRI and physical exam would often reveal a torn rotator cuff in these patients, and many were taken on to surgery for repair. It turns out that with new anabolic therapies of injections of PRP and hyaluronic acid, many of these torn rotator cuffs will go on to heal on their own, and many of the surgical repairs did not heal. And so with that understanding now of which ones to repair, in which ones can be injected and rehabbed alone, we now find that we're rehabbing many more and injecting many more of these torn rotator cuffs and getting people back to full sports without surgery. So in the 21st century, the evolution of rotator cuff repair has been to pick which ones really truly need repair. And those that do need repair, we now often will augment that repair with grafts or with growth factor injections to increase the success rate of the rotator cuff repair.